I'm Uma Jalili. I'm not doing the Edinburgh Festival this year because I'm doing a Hollywood movie in Morocco. No, I'm Hardeep Singh Kohli. I'm uh, at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, uh, having returned home, doing a show at Pleasant Swan called Hardeep Is Your Love. I'm only doing five nights. Child of an immigrant, not really. Don't have the work ethic. This is the first time I'm doing a show where I'm not cooking. It's pure stand-up, a later slot, and it's sort of about falling in love in later life. Because clearly you weren't designed to fall in love in your 40s. In the words of uh, Shakespeare, giveth the desire but taketh away the ability. So I have, yes, there are better shows than mine. I mean, generally you find the calibre of, of uh, women comics far superior to men. Uh, so if you're in two minds about what to go and see, go and see a woman. It's probably going to be better than the men. Uh, I saw an amazing show called uh, Circa Wunderbar uh, or Wunderkam. Circa Wunderkam. Amazing. I was like a small child at the circus again. Brilliant. The one thing you should never do is go and see Dara Brian. Dara does not have a show. That's why it's good not to see him. It's lovely to be home. I moved back to Scotland for good a few months ago. It's my first festival actually as a resident of Scotland. And for me, Edinburgh is pound for pound the most beautiful city in the world. Inevitably, people come here, fall in love with the city and stay, and that's sort of what Scotland needs. Scotland needs people from around the world to come and partake of uh, how great it is to be in Scotland. Let's talk about the weather, um, how amazingly cultured it is to be in Scotland. We just won't mention the rain um, and just how uh, creative a space Scotland is. Sometimes it snows. On Scottish independence, two positions for me. One is, I imagine uh, newspapers and websites like The Telegraph would espouse independence in one's personal life wherever possible. The libertarian stance for me is not being told to do, uh, not being told what to do by the state. Um, and I think in a sense, independence encapsulates libertarianism. Scotland should determine its own outcomes. Uh, also, I'm fed up of Scotland blaming Il England for all its ills. And it's time Scotland grew up. And we've seen a little bit of growing up through devolution, but really independence is the only way. Um, but more importantly than the outcome of the vote, actually, and this is quite a profound thought, I hope, is that the day after the vote, Scots need to stand shoulder to shoulder, Scots together, regardless of how they voted. Let's make it a fulfilling debate. Let's make it an honest debate. Let's allow emotion to join fact. And let's, let's be Scots after the event. But I say vote yes. And welcome the English. I, I love the English. Some of my best friends know English people. I lived in England for 21 years, of course I love them, apart from the racists.